Hello, everybody, and happy Friday. Another Friday means another property to look at, and uh, I've got a pretty neat one here for you today. Now, before I get into it, if you could head down to the subscribe button, hit that along with the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content. And if you could hit that like button while you're down there, it would be greatly appreciated. So today, um, got a property, uh, 212 Cedar Crescent. It's in Barrie, 899.9. This is obviously less inside of our first time home buyer territory that I might usually stick towards, but it's a pretty cool property. Um, this is listed by CJ21, BJ Roth. Did I say CJ21? Century 21, <laughs> BJ Roth. Um, everything was pretty much done very recently. Shingles 2021, eaves draft 17, uh, exterior was painted in 21. Most of the windows are 22. AC backsplash and quartz countertops are 21. The inside kitchen looks awesome. And it is a registered second suite, which is cool. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit later. It ties into kind of what I've been talking about on the channel for the last week or so. So you're just over 1,100 square feet, right? Yeah, 1130. So interesting. Gra I don't know if that's wood or if that's just a beat up uh, metal. Either way, it's... Uh, Aesthetically, it looks very nice from the road. Very lovely walk up. Beautiful window right in the open. I think the only... This might be my mom rubbing off on me. But if those windows are black instead of white, it might be a little bit... A little bit sleeker looking in my opinion. Um, so you've got the, uh, typical raised bungalow style of a split entrance when you walk in again, downside of these is the fact that, you know, you're saying bye to family or whomever you don't have a lot of room, right, right down in the opening. Um, and that's just a standard practice with all builds of this. It's not a deal breaker, but it is something to keep in mind. You're going to be saying a lot of goodbyes, basically hanging out by this railing. Oh, even better, by this railing uh, right here. <laughs> Lovely hardwood on the main floor. Again, here's that huge window letting in so much light, um, which can never be understated how great natural light is in a house. The house itself, very clean, very neat. Um, which are the two biggest steps in selling a property, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So looking back, all looks nice. Um, the kitchen here, in this style of house, is not uncommon. Um, I've been through a lot of these older builds. Um, you see a lot of them in like Wasega Beach, Aurelia, and that sort of thing. Um, you can also find a way to remove this wall and put like an island here, and it really just opens up this space entirely. Alternatively, you just leave it as it is because it looks like they've opened up the sidewall to make it pretty large in general. So here's the updated kitchen. Looks great. Very st not standard because it, lo it looks really good, um, but it's not complicated. Very simple. That's that's what I'm looking for. Simple and clean. Um, gold hardware is uh, preferences of some people. Not of mine personally, but um, the one thing you would want to make sure of is you usually want your hardware to match throughout. So if you're going gold here, maybe you think about changing some door handles and things. Um, but I'm not an interior designer. I don't actually know. This is just all my personal, uh, opinions. Okay. So yeah, if you do take out that wall though, you are losing all the storage. You have to put the microwave like in the Island or something like that. But 
as it is right now, this is a solid functional kitchen that's beautifully well done. So well done that we needed many pictures from the same angles. Okay, out into the little dining area. And you can see the walkout into the backyard with a hot tub. Is hot tub included? That looks like a hot tub, unless I'm losing my mind. <clears throat> we'll get to that later. Um, first bedroom, I'm assuming master or primary, as it's more commonly known as nowadays. Bathroom could use some updating, let's be honest. Um, they did an excellent job on the kitchen. Bathroom could use a little bit of love. Uh, the green and pink combo. I'm sure, it was nice back in the day, but could be could be brought up to speed here in 2023. Um, that also means, though, so there's only the one bathroom on the main floor, um, which means that no ensuite in this one, guys. Which, again, with this type of build, not uncommon. You get the extra third bedroom third bedroom on the main floor um, and you're kind of sacrificing a bathroom to do that and it's not uncommon to do so I don't know where logically you'd you'd have to like sack a bedroom because this is I wonder if they have a shot of the hallway um, I'll come back to that point though so second bedroom good size and this is probably their third bedroom which if it has a closet I agree with it would be a small bedroom um closets probably just on this back side on like this wall that we're standing beside essentially um even with a closet this is probably closer to to an office um unless you have a small child in which case sweet bedroom um but yeah, so like I was saying, let's go back here real quick. Actually, it's just quicker to do this, isn't it? <laughs> um, okay, this might be my best bet. So going down this hallway over, like if you come here and turn right, it's probably, the bathroom is probably on the back side of this wall here. If I had to guess, again, I don't see a layout of the house. Um, so you're probably, this bathroom is probably, you come in, you turn left into it. So on the other side of this wall should be the kitchen, I believe. And part of the reason for that is because it's your only bathroom, it's accessible to the rest of the house as well as the bathrooms. It's kind of in like a middling point. Um, if you were to try and get an ensuite in there, um, so this room is likely then stacked behind yet again um, the the bathroom. So you're probably like kitchen, bathroom, and then this bedroom. Um, you'd have to essentially like get rid of this wall because this wall connects with one of the other two rooms, um, and then. Ideally, it'd be with this room, and then you could turn this into an ensuite, but I'm pretty sure that, where are we here? Sorry, this was your master. You'd have to blow out one of these walls to connect um, into a new ba uh, bathroom. I think this one's in the back right. This one is in the back left. And then this one, this wall leads into the opening on, uh, like, at the stairs. If none of that made sense, because I don't have a floor plan <laughs> to look at, um, well, I did what I could. Speaking of doing what they could, the basement looks pretty solid. 
nice hardwood floors, nice neutral paint job, good size window, especially, <clears throat> excuse me, when you remember um, the layout of the house itself, a lot of it, now I haven't seen the backyard, so I don't know for sure, but it seemed like a lot of it was above ground, um, which leads for awesome windows. So beautiful, bright basement, good old BBB. So it looks like they used, let's see here. Uh, oh. <laughs> Must have been a sale on on the tile for <laughs> the back. Is that the same backsplash? Does my joke fit? Eh, maybe it's just my eyesight. I can't tell. Regardless, if it is the same tile, insert joke about there being a sale, but it looks good regardless, right? Um, I find these wood countertops interesting. I don't know if I love them or I hate them. I think there's a place for them. They're very neat. Um, but this is very much just standard stuff, right? Like you've got your, I find it funny. You're, you kind of like draw your line between, oh, are they, are they white appliances or are they stainless steel? Um, these are the white appliances. Um, but no, it's, if I had to take a guess, they probably took their stuff from upstairs, moved it downstairs when they brought in the new stuff. Um, but smaller window. So a lot of this is probably below grade then. Um, this is a bedroom, I think. Bathroom, obviously I'm not trying to figure that out. <laughs> just trying to think how best to describe um so this looks like an exit out to the front or the back um backyard looks awesome excellent space looks very green very green so much the photo might have been touched up a bit that doesn't necessarily look like a natural green i could be mistaken again just my opinion um okay so walk out onto deck definitely a hot tub hot tub is not mentioned in the inclusions right wait large above ground pool that's a pool or did i miss the pool am i blind i am indeed blind unless i just didn't see it No, it was just like well hidden in every every photo up until then. Okay, um, but yeah, it doesn't mention the hot. Oh no, never mind. Add inclusion accessories and hot tub. Okay, so hot tub is included. Um, crazy what happens when you finish reading something before you start talking about it. Unison looks solid. Uh, probably. Well, I wouldn't say original, but it's definitely older. You can see the grass grass growth up through here. That's all remediable. Um, quite honestly, the easiest way to get rid of grass and things or moss or weeds between your uh, like stone or anything that is not natural is vinegar. Um, vinegar will kill any plant life that you dump it on. So don't use it to get rid of the weeds in your grass, but the weeds on sidewalks and things like that. Just dump some vinegar on it. Pro tip from my times working at uh, Canadian Tire. Again, awesome backyard, little fire pit place thing. Uh, again, pool. And even with that large pool, like the pool itself looks small because the rest of your yard is so big, but that looks like a standard size pool. So my only complaints about this property or it's less about the property and maybe more just about the photos themselves um and maybe it's mentioned in the remarks and i just haven't read them thoroughly enough but so that door in the basement we don't know where that comes out to if i had to hazard a guess it would probably be this side of the house here um, if not, it would lead out into the garage, maybe. So where is the entrance to the basement, right? The, the external entrance. There's only one 
laundry facility that I can tell if I'm to understand uh, the listing correctly. So is that in a decent spot? I don't remember seeing any laundry when we looked through. Um, that and just because of the nature of the room photos themselves, you don't have the best idea of the layout. Now, obviously you'd want to go and see the property itself um, before doing anything, but based on what I said is probably the closest. Um, I've absolutely, actually, so, I don't really want to hazard a guess to the basement because it could be set up anyway, but I would expect like straight up here to be the stairs and left and right is the split. But at the same time, it could be literally anything. Um, and I, like I said, I haven't the foggiest as to where that door leads. Um, so outside of those things though, like in, the, in those, I highly doubt that it's, absolutely you know out of the question it's awful but so yeah like i said this front window is probably that small room this is probably the secondary bedroom back here would be your master this is probably your bathroom and then this is the kitchen and the living area right that's probably the layout of the main floor so all that being said though that's 212 Cedar Crescent in Barrie. Um, 899 like I said. And I didn't mean for those, I guess, critiques or comments about the layout to try and, you know, bash the agent um, over it at Century 21. Uh, just something that might pop into someone's mind while they're looking through it. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. You might not know the layout, um, or even as us agents, we might assume like, oh, well, this layout is, it's common, which in this house it is, like I said, I've seen it a couple times, but other people haven't, right? So just something to keep in mind. Um, if you have any questions at all about things, you can either, you know, like I always say, listing agent or listing brokerage is CJ or <laughs> Century 21 BJ Roth. Uh, specifically, the listing agent is, ba, ba, ba. who are we here? Michael Tuck. Um, so, you know, if you want information from them, feel free to give them a call. We are also able to give you information, um, anything more if you want. Same for showings. Use who you want. I'm just here to point out cool places. So, all that being said go down below and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our content. And if you stuck around this long, you probably liked me enough. So you might as well hit the like button as well. But uh, that's it for me here today, guys. You enjoy your weekend and I will see you next week.